Diecast International Builders said build a rat rod. And since I had this bone shaker, I figured why not? I kind of felt like it might be cheating though, since this is already considered a rat rod by Hot Wheels, and I suspect the collector's community as well. So to make it into a rat rod, I would have to make a rat rat rod, if I'm doing the math correctly. Anyway, Mattel started making it in 2006, and it's an incredibly popular casting. Enough said. I got it from Silva a while back, and I'm not feeling the blue wheels, but I think the paint is fine. I lied just there. The paint looks like crap. John Lennon is the only guy I can see driving around in this, and unfortunately some idiot shot him. My biggest problem is that I'm not really a rat rod guy, and even Hot Wheels has messed this up because when I googled rat rod, I found a few commonalities. One, they're all pretty raw. They aren't afraid of rust, and they love anything that sticks out of the top of the motor, and they are as low as they can possibly be. To make a rat rod into a rat rod, I need to lower it even more. And that project starts with measurements. I catch a lot of flack sometimes because I'm told that my videos don't show what I am doing. Look, this project probably took me 20 hours all in. It's my hobby, and it's winter, and so I literally do it for days. Uh, I can't teach you Tinkercad, but I can show you my process. The first chassis I created, I knew immediately was wrong because I had not lowered the contact point of the posts. So the second version had the lowered area of the casting spread out to incorporate the posts. Uh, I had a little fun as well, and I marked the bottom, and then I realized that was actually probably a pretty good idea. I always print in twos uh, in case I have a print failure or a short fill and I actually wound up with this little pile of chassis when all was said and done. So then came chassis number three which had reinforced holes. It fit nicely on the casting and lowered it a fair bit as far as 1 64th castings go so I was ready to move on. I decided to make the engine a part of the chassis for this project and the engine I selected is this one which I made for the Sweet 16 Demon. I had to re-tilt the radiator. I also added some art, a very popular rat rod accoutrement. I also raised the velocity stacks a little so they would extend above the hood. I added headlights to either side of the grill, and I reinforced the exhaust pipe. And Bob's your uncle. This rat rod needs to be rusty, and I've done that before, and I always used a homemade concoction, but today I'm going to use a different process that starts with typhus corrosion. This is a volume paint that looks like it's got sand in it when it's applied and you just apply it all over. The second part of the process is the use of dry rice rust, which is not really dry, it's just really thick. And it's intended to be a dry, applied with a dry brush. So you get a little on the brush and then you wham it against a, a tissue for a little bit until you have bristles that are soaked but not drenched. If you notice the bare spots too, I'm wondering if I didn't uh, sand the roof a bit too smooth. After working with the dry brush, Tamiya powders, and weathering pencils, I get a finish that I'm pleased with. I wanted to do a red line rat rod, so I added a set of medium deep dish red lines that I got from Bright Vision. I did notice that many rat rods have really nice wheels and tires, so this is right in character with the genre. I did a little dusting around the edges of the uh, roof for effect, uh, and other edges as well, and the engine and radiator were painted by hand with Mr. Metal Color Paints. For a rat rat rod, I think it looks pretty good. Be sure to check out the projects other people did for this build. This is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you. 